Cześć, witajcie mój kani, witam bardzo, ale to bardzo serdecznie. W kolejnej epizodzie zagrajmy w Disco Elysium. Witam, witam. Eee, a, dobra. Teraz sobie przypomniałem, mieliśmy się włamać do tego cholernego mieszkania. Znaczy cholernego to nie wiem, zobaczymy. Który to był dom? You hear someone walking up. Nie ten. This door has been closed with a padlock. Zręczne palce. Ok. Dobra, spróbujmy. Włamy się komuś do domu. Ja pierdolę. Przepraszam. Do trzech razy sztuka. Ja pierdziu. To jest tak wysoka szansa. Jak to się dzieje w ogóle? Ponad 50%. Za drugim razem powinno się już udać. Nie, no dobra, jeszcze raz. No, no błagam was. To są jakieś jaja. Aha, zebrałem jednego centa z buta, tak? Dobra. The shackle snaps like a twig and the after you detective. A plaster cast bust depicts a middle-aged man with impressive sideburns. The name on the plinth reads Kras Mazov. Kras Mazov, nom de guerre, was an economist and a theoretical historian. He was a leading figure in the Grad side of the turn of the century revolution, where he headed the nine day government. Mazov is considered the father of scientific communism, Mazovian thought, or Mazovianism. Ojciec Mazov, bohater klasy obrotniczej. Whoever lives here definitely shares your enthusiasm. There aren't many communists around, not after the revolution. Some youth still keep the ideology going, it seems. The white star, the photos on the wall. I think we have broken into the apartment of a young communard. How fitting. Marynarka sportowa. Dziwersacze? Co daje mój, mój strój? Birdy Korps. Paskudny odór. Opanowanie. Rytoryką jest jeden. Jezu, jakiś się zrobiłem, kurwa, seksy. Naprawdę. Niesamowite to jest doświadczenie.
Właśnie, tak, z jedną z tych rzeczy, którą chciałbym jeszcze zrobić. A... Przydałoby się zdobyć klucz do tego schowka na śmieci. Zdjąć zwłoki. Albo znaleźć jakiś inny sposób na zdjęcie tych zwłok. Dobra. Mamy tu kogoś, zobaczymy. Jezu, ile hajsu mam już. Marynarka sportowa. Na biednym nie trafiło. Have you no shame? Whining about your back every time you bring out the measuring tape. Rene, you are a man with a fork in a world of soup. Please, let's just try to enjoy the game, all right? I'm trying to, but you keep breaking my concentration. You're old. I can see that. We're both old. Now stop grabbing your ass like it's a girl. This felt wrong. Wrong like touching your sister's breast. You threw your sister's breast. Mon dieu! Good job, officer. That was an excellent throw. Myślałem, że stanie się coś o wiele bardziej spektakularnego. What are you talking about? You just executed a pretty much perfect petong throw. How are you ever going to get the officer's shit off your nose, Gaston? Or even climb out of his ass? Bezbłędny rzut, mimo to czuję się jak pokonany. Probably because those rooster pants are squeezing you senseless. <laughs> Whatever happened to practical, durable, preversal made? Now, what can I do for you? Look who's talking. That cockatoo uniform must give him a real advantage when fighting in the circus. Yes, officer. What do we need from this gentleman? Wiecie panowie, coś może o mężczyźnie powieszonym na podwórzu? Unfortunately, I don't. Unlike most of the locals, I have no qualms about assisting law enforcement, but this affair has passed me by completely. A większość miejscowych? In Martinez, the union is the law, so can you really blame them? Ale pan nie ma problemu z liniarzami. Cop is a pejorative term. I don't have a problem with policemen. On the contrary, I admire the effort to bring order to our streets. He doesn't know about the crime. Your time is better spent discussing politics. A policjantki? I'm confident they are indispensable in regard to all the paperwork and other administrative duties. Nic nie ma obowiązki, które funkcjonariuszki moru nie umiałyby sprostać. But you must agree that nature, in her infinite wisdom, has made men more fit to perform certain more challenging tasks, don't you? Nie, nie sądzę, jakby miała tu miejsce jakakolwiek ewolucja, nie, ewolucyjna nierówność. Really, officer. Match an average woman against an average man in a dark alley and see who comes out on top. Gender equality is a very noble, very modern idea. But in real life, primal roles prevail. But I do not wish to discuss this matter further. Widzę, że gracie w kraterze. Yes. 
The terrain here provides an interesting variety to a familiar game. Czy to ma coś tu z tymi wszystkimi siedlami kul, które są tu wszędzie? Yes. It was left by heavy artillery fire. Dobrze, to jest krater pozostawiony przez ogień artyleryjski, ale dlaczego? Why what? Dlaczego użyto ciężkiej artylerii? Because that's what happens when communists hijack your country, execute your supreme leadership and turn your capital into a slaughterhouse. You use heavy ordnance to clean up your home. Teraz kim są komunardzi? Komis, komunistów, socjalistów, anarchistów, call them what you like. They just chose the name to feel special. Senseless sentimentality. A wy użyliście kiedyś przeciw nim ognia artylerijskiego? Sadly no. It was the foreigners who brought them to their knees. We fought valiantly. Too valiantly. So valiantly we got licked. Should have fought dirty, like they did with their suicide sex cult propaganda and mad anarchist women strapped to shrapnel bombs. We didn't so, and we lacked caliber. Go it was probably a bit more complicated than that. Po co ostrzeliwać ich tu, w Bartinez? Because this place is a beachhead. I to soften the commies up first. Przyczółek? Yes. The military coordinated amphibious landing to take back Revachel. He finds your lack of historic knowledge troubling. A sign of mental deterioration in the preceding generations. Martinez was used as one of the three footholds in Revachel during Operation Deathblow in 08. The other two are off in Stella Maris and the Delta. Potrząśnij głową i spójrz w kar na krater. Generalny czas brzmi ponuro. This here is blood ground, where coalition boots first made landfall and cleaned those rabbit dogs out. Most likely, we're playing petonk on their mangled corpses. Blood ground. You got old René going there. Like he isn't hungry enough already. Teraz koalicja? Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, officer. I hate those foreign dogs, but uh, the enemy of my enemy and all that. They're the lesser evil. E, czy to dlatego, że wszystko jest ta, ta, takie zryte bombami? Damn right, son. They laid the fire of hell on the city before they stormed it. And it worked, too. The rest of the city got cleaned up, but Martinez they keep as a monument. And now the Union Socialists are practically running the place. Well, it's your own damn fault. You, we, the coalition, Revachol, whoever you want to blame. Never finished the job. Officially, the party never surrendered. Of course they still all influence. You don't even begin to truly understand the players of the table, let alone the specific circumstances surrounding the... What do you think? Thinking men have opinions on these things. Present one. Tak właśnie powinno być. Między socjaliści szykujący drogę do władzy twardej klasie robotniczej. What? Ja nic nie myślę, tylko robię. Kurde, użyłem przypadkiem to, to, to leczenie dziwne. I'm sorry it had to be them. After eight years of fighting those hyenas, boiling cats for food and drinking piss in the mountains, I would have preferred if the right honorable King Guillaume returned to Revachal, or even if that damn clan Fussel had risen from the grave and led us. Sadly, that was not the case. This royal failure weighs heavily on him. Instead, all that is just, holy, and beautiful in the world 
was wiped away, and now it's neon signs with toothpaste ads everywhere. But this is just what the commies wanted. This was their plan all along. This is what they wanted to replace the role of the suzerain with. Kimbuten Free Cell? Damn Free Cell. He was a king we couldn't protect. The Carabineers failed him, and the Crown. <laughs> he died in the hands of the Hyper. He slouches as he says that. It makes him smaller, admitting they left the king. The suzerain is the king! Soon, they will- It's no use talking to you. You were still in daddy's borders when it happened. Czy może mi pan powiedzieć coś o tej broni? I'm not surprised. There are probably lots of forgotten wartime weapons lying around here. Back in the day, everyone had something stashed away. As for the rifle, I don't know what else to tell you. These BM-446s are an antique. No one uses them anymore. The ammunition is impossible to find. This is the uniform of the Royal Carabin. Don't you mean Frisell the fa- You do not speak his name, Craven, although he was a clown. There's something you missed. You would- Dobra. Hmm. A co tutaj? The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? Wydaje się pani zaskoczona. We don't see a lot of police around here. That's all. Ma do pani kilka pytań. Of course. What can I help you with? Kim jest właściwie pani? Me? I am just a gardener. Miło pani poznać zwykłą ogrodniczkę. To jest teraz pytanie, kolejne pytanie. To meet you too, officer. Of course. Where to? Dobra, no kistem. No problem. Of course. Her gloves. You get the feeling that you need them. You have a dead body to deal with after all. Mogę pożyczyć pani rękawice? Mam rękawice. <laughs> nice. Główne wejście jest z tej strony? Właśnie, czy ja mogę dostać się do kuchni? Zawsze chodzi o pieniądze, no może. Thin man is smoking below an exhaust hood, occasionally sipping from his mug. This, as you step in, he nods toward the table and says something in a completely foreign language. The only words you can make out are Garanzi and Kubek. Okay, it's definitely not his name. Whatever you do, please don't call him Garanzi Kubek. Please, it's not funny. Dobra, ma pan chwilę na kilka pytań? Czy to prawda wspaniałe garnki? He smiles and bangs his ladle against each of his pots in turn. It's almost like music, especially with the sounds of assorted dishes boiling and simmering on the stove. No to się nie dogadaliśmy. Dobra. 
real mature man. What exactly were you trying to- Damn, your feet thought we got to- That doesn't seem fair. You demonstrated some serious skills there. By the way, Sambo, or Samurai Boxing, is an eloquently violent set of one-on-one -on -one fighting moves originating from the Samurai Isola. Sambo used to incorporate a wide array of martial disciplines, from archery to mounted combat, but mainly means aesthetically pleasing single combat nowadays. Sambo style implies stealth, cleverness, and cool. Ale na pewno doceniłeś mój kurs skradania, skradania się rodem z Sambu. Oh well, if that was Sambo style, then let me wipe that death, sir. Okay, the stupid drinks are on the house, Mr. Athlete. I still have to charge you for three nights and the broken window. That's a hundred square. Czyli między nami spoko. Not entirely cool. You still owe me a hundred real. If you don't have it by tonight, I can't let you back up there. Now what the hell did you want? I assume you wanted something to come back here. Ten pojemnik na świecie to jak to twój? Mine? No, it belongs to the whirling in rags. Thank you for clearing that up. Why do you keep the container locked? Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. That's why. And the neighbors too. They put that trash there, and they don't pay for the garbage company. I thought as much. And are you the only party with... Well, yes. Us and the garbage disposal company. It seems a little callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in you. Potrzebujemy tych kluczy. What do you need them for? It concerns the case. Please cooperate. Just bring them back once you're done, please. Widziałem coś tu, Wyrling, Gartę. Hmm. Coś, o czym musimy porozmawiać. Tym, że stołówka jest zarezerwowana na związku. Yes, not the whole damn union, thank God. Just the nastiest and loudest faction. They come here in the evenings, dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit. But they're good customers. They place big orders and always pay on time. We should find out who this Lord faction is occupying the booth. Loudness means talkative, and we need info. We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. Men get hungry, even striking men. If there are these things called days. You sleep between them. W głębi kuchni znajdują się tajem, tajemnicze niebieskie drzwi. Oh yes, that door. Sure. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's just a door. Is there any? No, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there. And I don't care either. It's not like I've been wondering about it for 10 years. It's just the frit warehouse probably, or some boring storage space with a bunch of old He's attempting to maintain an air of indifference. It's absolutely not. Dejam, że chciałbyś wiedzieć, co tam jest. Fine, okay, a little. But my job doesn't leave me time for wondering about one locked door. So I haven't opened it. I have cleaned the whole place a hundred times over, though, after the animals. And I haven't found a key, so what? By the way, you should come back to this thing-based questionnaire if you see... By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. In time or space. That doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. You can try. Run some addresses in your... his cooking utensils and gives you a little nod. He looks up at you, then looks away quickly. Shrugging is an international sign for, no, I don't know what's... 
You see, I have the cobalt blue surface. The door does not. Cool, don't you guys tell me this? Hello, sweetie. Wait, who's sweetie? Czy znaczy, że się pani podoba? My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. This Lena is wacky enough for the Motley Crew. Hire her on the spot. <laughs> of course, dear. Kurwa, pożycz od niej hajs. Tak, to jest dobry pomysł. To jest jakby, kurwa, rozwiązanie wszelkich problemów. Co za kur... Co za opcja? Skarbeniek potrzebuje pieniędzy. <głupie>, głupie to jest. Kurwa, głupie jakich mało. Aha. A kim ty jesteś? Welcome. To Ivashol. Czemu zastaś się tak do mojego partnera? Don't you welcome to Ivashol me? My grandfather came here from a 3,000-year-old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Every school of thought and government has failed in this city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. Wow. Czy nie wydaje się rozgniewany kim? It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. What he means is, fixation on the Revacholian nation makes it harder for Revachol to actually attain self-determination. Ma rację, nie wyczysz naszą najlepszą szansę na samostanowienie. Come on, man. I just said, uh, welcome to Rivashol. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here, that I should watch myself and behave. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCM. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise you to remember that. Silence. The air between them becomes tense. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. <laughs> Jasny chuj, kim możesz na mnie liczyć? Wow. No, to chyba wszyscy się czegoś nauczyliśmy. Skoro mamy już wyjaśnione, może chcielibyśmy zadać ci kilka pytań. Whatever you say, officers. Co przewozisz? Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but the dock workers are on strike, so uh, it's a sit and wait on your ass situation. Jakie odrój masz odebrać? Apples. Apples is exactly the kind of thing you'd say if you had something to hide. Jabłka? Yeah, apples. I take it you had other questions? Oh, not much anymore. Jak dalej to trwa? The strike. Oh, they've been at it for a while. A month, two months maybe, but this here is just the last week or so. Give me some apples. Apples. It's exactly. Me, me, that's the grief. Look, as detective, I come from a long line of lorry men. We got ancient rights and privileges. Oh, I'm here to pick up a load of fucking apples, man. Just regular, koi koi pick. Damn, you're not gonna get more out of them on this. He's put up the wall of racism. So you know, you should probably be very careful with your rubric. Yeah, they're a big deal. My great grandfather was a carter, had a royal license and everything. We've tried to hold on to our privileges. That's privilege. Sure, fucking is. 
We have a guild and everything, huh? Very ancient. Very prestigious. Czyli coś w rodzaju związku. Hell no. It's a guild. Invitation only. Unions work for the rich fucks. They're basically the same. Been trying to fuck us out of our heritage in the name of profit. But you can't replace experience. <laughs> Trusting street thugs with their goods is going to fuck him right up the ass. Mark my words. Generations of practice and no laughing matter. Jesteś gierstą szarówki, prawda? Co sądzisz o zażywaniu narkotyków? Drugs? They are shit, man. I don't let anything pollute my body. Czemu? You know where that shit comes from? Sarah Miridza. Safre. Ilmara. They take the money from our local junkies here and then use it to outcompete us in the manufacturing sector. Wow, jakie poglądy. They know they can't beat us in a fair fight. So they have to get us to weaken ourselves somehow. It's racial sabotage. Racial economic sabotage. Czy rozumiem, że nie zajmujesz się przemytem narkotyków? Okej. Okay. Słuchaj, zgadzam się. Mamy odpowiedzialność trzymać te truciznę z nala od... Tak? He eyes you wearily, unsure how to respond. This goes on for about two seconds. I don't know shit. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Czemu ciągle tutaj sterczysz? Większość pozostałych kierowców już się stąd zabrała. What do you think? I can't leave the Lorient guarded. Stuff's been getting looted lately. It's those little kids sneaking around at night. If they touch my stuff, the bosses will be on my ass like ass cancer. Skoro nie ty, to kto przemyca? Isn't it obvious? Fucking ceiling. That bidy eyed sass Samaran. His little side business is a scam. I wouldn't be surprised if he was peddling drugs as well. Kto to? He's a Samaran guy who likes to pretend he's some kind of businessman. Or really, he's just selling his employer stuff. Stuff he stole after he broke the seals on his human ox lorry. Gdzie go znajdę? Just follow the smell. It smells like uh, apricot and oil when you're nearby. <laughs> yes, yes. Where is he? Looks like uh, I offended your partner there. Too bad. Sea Lang's usually a little bit south of here, near the canal. You can't miss him. Just watch yourselves. His tribe are natural liars. It's in their blood. He's your man, all right. One hundred percent. I wouldn't be so sure about it. Not until we've heard what Sealing himself has to say. No, but we should visit Sealing's visitor. Guess so. Okay. Dobra, jak możemy do Ciebie zagadać, Ziomek? No, elo. I am a gander and a hunter and a gatherer. Feel like a traveler. A simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. From another planet. Hey there. Co się tutaj dzieje? Jaki korek? Harbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating, and all around clusterfuck. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo for days upon days upon days. Upon days. Udegadam tu jesteś? Feels like forever. Like I was born on this here roundabout, and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes of mazout. Mazout is an antiquated term for heavy fuel oils. This man has a barely suppressed performative streak, or he just likes unusual words, or both. Podoba mi się twój styl, stary. Ekstrawagancko powiedziane, rozumiem cię. Yeah. Imagine, 
It's been a whole week already. Behind the laugh, however, a touch of sorrow. So tell me, what do you need? Hmm. Do you have any drops for the for the working pia? Huh? Oh. No, I ain't got any money. They don't want to pay for unfinished work. Dokładnie. The bosses, man. Ma to sens. Na prosto po tym bat. Nie wiem, z tego uważają się ci szefowie, ale brzmi tak dobry układ dla nich. Yeah, it sure ain't good for me. Or you. I'd spare a coin or two for a city cop down in his luck. If I had saved four myself. Wiesz coś o zabitym tym, który wisi na tamtym, za tamtym hostelem? He ain't one of us drivers. I know that. All accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. Been wasting time right here. Keep him busy. It's easy to see he's telling the truth. He's kept his nose out of the dark stuff. Zajęty czym? Analyzing the fundamental structural and psychological conditions of being stranded in the midst of a sea of motor lorries and their sad, despondent chauffeurs. Jaka konkluzja? A sense of surprise there ain't more bodies hanging from more trees. Co właściwie przewozisz? Oh, high-grade narcotics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. Relax. He's merely joking. Ostro, zawsze chciałem mieć kumpla w półświatku. Ha! No, I'm joking, my man. Fowl runs a nice, clean business. This haul of cargo is mostly sporting goods. You know, tracksuits and that kind of thing. They usually get shipped to Grad and the Occident. Though we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. Mógł dostać jeden z tych dresów, fan, które przewozisz? We're pals and all, but I can't just freely hand out the merchandise. The bosses won't be happy. Uh, a więc nic nielegalnego. To twoja maszyna za tobą? This rockin' beauty. Sure is, like a rash you can't get rid of. You interested in heavy duty cargo machinery? A motor lorry, also called a camion on Caillou and neighboring islands. This one looks roughed up enough to be some sort of foul rust bucket. Maybe. Good eye, my man. Yup, she's an old one, but reliable. Me and her spent a long time together. There it is again. A little touch of sadness beneath his cool. He thinks he spent too long. Dobrze, mam inne pytanie. Taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. To na razie wszystko. Dobra, zróbmy save, żeby nie stracić progresu i zapytajmy go o to. Może się jakoś do niego przebijemy. Hello again, my man. What's on your mind? Co widzisz w jego oczach? In his eyes, an unfamiliar longing. Flecks of brown and gold. Jak to znajoma? It's hard to say. His gaze wanders southwest, down the street that goes beyond the horizon. Excuse me. A flinch jolts his frame. The question has touched a nerve. Valera, rozumiem ten scenariusz. Czy jesteś podobny od kiedy się tu, od kiedy się obudziłem? Man, I don't know what to say. Not much anyone can do. There's no helping in absence, you know. I miss my family. They're all I have. My wife, second kid on the way, waiting all the way in Diora, and here I am stuck in this shit, so far from home. Diora? Diora of the Seven Seas. It's on the other end of La Caillou, pretty much, on another island called Laurentide, off mainland. We've got a little place there. Can almost hear my kid laugh when it snows. To jest za kimś tęsknić. What's it like? Good. And bad. An ache that brings you joy. I think of them a lot. I dream up these silly scenarios in great detail of living with them. It comforts me. <sighs> what about you, cop man? You missing someone? Is that what it is? This feeling? Nic nie zostawiam z plumą, zgubiłem ją. You lost your gun. Oh man, that's bad news. Especially here in Marnay's. 
I hope you find it soon before things turn foul. But thanks for this. It's nice to talk to someone, and I know it wasn't easy to ask. I hope you find your way through your own troubles. Знаешь, такой, кто знает о наркотиках. Ah, man. Me and narcotics go way back. Had some good times surfing the psychic waves of my own consciousness, you know? But those days are behind me. There are other addictions in my life now. Why the inquiry, my man? Powiem ci wprost, próbuję dojść, kto przemysł narkotyki terminala B. We have a credible lead, sir. Someone on this roundabout is waiting for a bell shipment from the harbor to load it on their lorry and drive it to Jamrock. Not me, ma'am. No way. I don't need any trouble. Shit's bad enough anyway. This jam's got folks up in arms and I'm afraid it's headed toward a conflagration. To czemu cały czas tu jesteś? Gotta guard the stuff. Bosses don't look kindly on missing cargo. And it gives me time to work on my rhymes. A rhyme smith? This is quite credible. It goes with its cadence and way of speaking. To twoim zdaniem może w takim razie handlować narkotykami. Look, man, I try to stay away from the criminal underbelly of Revachol. I'm a guest here. You really need to find another man to probe with those questions. We wouldn't say he's lying, sire. It's not a lie. It's something else. Impossible to say what at this point, but there's something in him, some trepidation. Kurde. Opowiedz mi więcej o tym strajku. It's like whatever's going on over at the docks. Workers got a blockade set up, making demands, no way in or out. Co do mojego związek? Some pretty wild stuff I hear. Like a giant new power crane in half the company? I forget what exactly. Good on them, I guess. I've heard talk there's a company rep in town too. Like a strike negotiator type. They know what's up. Precise demands and so on. Czego twoim zdaniem chce firma? They want to keep that money flowing in, my man. Kaching. He doesn't blame them, but he's not on their side. That's for sure. Co jeszcze powinienem wiedzieć? Anything else? Yeah, this ain't really my area of expertise. I just do my job and get paid. I have things to do and places to be. All of us do. Wszyscy czyli kto? Us lorry drivers. Cam your nurse. You still hang around here waiting for this mess to end. Most have scurried off somewhere to get drunk or high, or laid. Not that I blame them, really. Atenia? Not my thing. Chasing transient pleasures is a drag these days. I prefer the examined life now, thinking, reflecting, observing. He tries his best to look nonchalant, but there's a rigidity in him, as if trying to conceal something warm. Dobra, spróbujmy ten, ten rym mu narzucić. No spróbujmy chociaż, no spróbujmy. Hello again, my man. What's on your mind? Your best. Aj, aj, aj. Szkoda, dawaj jeszcze raz. Spróbujmy, no, no, to musi się dać, no. Duża szansa jest. Wait. A, jest. Stored away in some dusty corner. It starts like. No, but the lustr is always zero. It's a load of filling the cells. Apparatus rentgenowskim. Whoa. What else? A kelly, wyciągnięty ku tobie w niemej komuni. Silent communion. That's good. Gdy dysząco spuistniejesz z zmiennej tożsamości, nigdy jednak twoje. Dang, that's some great shit. You came up with that yourself. Właściwie to nie wiem. No matter. Great verse is like that sometimes. Ephemeral. You might not look it. Seems you have some literary chops. Maybe there's hope for me yet. To dziwny komplement. Just messing with you. It's cool. You're an okay guy. For a cop. Jak na glinę? They're more often in the fists than rhymes, see. Let alone honesty and verse. In a small office behind the old military hospital, 
hunched under the green glow of his desk light. Officer Hans Blau browses through a test print of his Futurist magazine. It's called The Futurist. The typeface on the header is too small. Robię co tylko mogę, żeby pomóc ludziom. Well, you've given me some hope, I guess. You found some common ground with this man. Even impressed him. The next time you look in the mirror, though, remember those words. Mogli się to gdzieś w ogóle dostać? What the fuck, man? A tu? A tu też nie. No dobra. Dobra, dobra, zobaczmy dalej, co tam się jeszcze dzieje. <śmiech> tu nic nie ma. stuck in the traffic jam. This big, heavy, grad-made machine is well kept for such an old machine. The windows are clear. They've been recently washed. You can see a lorry man's cabin with personal belongings, stickers, insignia. The driver has adorned his space with a substantial collection of peculiar paraphernalia. Proclamations about honor, strength, and purity are glued to various panels. A co z tylnymi siedzeniem? The back end of the cabin has a small perch to sleep. Large ashtrays. There are several suns and wheels sewn into the curtains. A book with ragged edges catches your notice. The front cover features a large muscular man. The title reads, Man from Eelmdal in the lost city of the Pygmies. Racist nationalist paraphernalia. Not unusual in this part of town. This is our guy. Myślisz, że ten ciężarówka należy do naszego twardziela? Likely, yes. This guy is proud of who he is. Drapes it all over his machine. Okej, okay, czy do tamtego ziomka, tak? Stands in the middle of the traffic island. It looks as if it's been reassembled piece by piece, secured and mounted in the air with the aid of numerous ropes and rods. A silver plaque on the statue's pedestal reads, I am Philip III, the squanderer, the greatest of the Philippian kings of Revachol, son of Philip II, the opulent. Father of Philip the Fourth, the insane. Not a good track record of mental health in that family. What did he do? High above you, the king stands triumphant. Lipa. Biała bokserka. Ciało jako narzędzie. Niesamowite to jest historia, naprawdę. Ok, czyli tu raczej nic więcej nie mam. Dobra, no ale z tym możemy porozmawiać, zobaczmy. The 
small, wrinkled woman does not greet you. She nods along to something on her radio. A photograph is clutched in her hands, and there is a warm smile on her face. The photo, an ambrotype from the turn of the century, as golden as her smile. It's the warmth of a winter night's fire. Maybe she could give you comfort and shelter, some cigarettes and food money. Maybe she's your... Proszę bardzo, chciałbym zadać kilka pytań. No response. Wherever this woman is, your words fail to reach her. Nothing. If you want her attention, you may need to be more forceful. Where am I? Who are you? The smile on her face has disappeared, replaced by the weary aspect of her corner. Wszystko w porządku? Byłaś nieprzytomna. Uh, never mind. I remember now. I'm still stuck in that traffic jam in the 50s. A jakim innym czasie mogłabyś być? Back in Mexico, during the time of the revolution. The side walls and cafes are filled with young people. I was on my way to see a new Boyadero picture starring Gabriel Buendero. Until you came along, that is. Someone was. Who is Gabriel? This is Gabriel Buendero. A strikingly handsome man looks straight at you. His head crowned with a wide... This man's got a hold over her. Even 50 years later, you can feel it. He was the biggest star of his day. Girls used to faint in the aisles of cinema whenever... He... In all likelihood, it's a world that's only ever existed. Coś, to nie są twoje they are someone's memories, boy. What difference does it make if it's me or not? They're beautiful. That is all that matters. Beautiful and true. And they will win. They're coming for this, you know? All of this. She seems to derive some bitter pleasure from this strange thought. As if the past will one day wipe the present away. I wasn't dreaming. I was there, Loman. It was early spring, and the mine behind the black sun had just come out. The posters were 20 meters tall. Everything was golden. While you, people, were tearing each other apart over your petty little revolution, in Mesk, it was a golden age. The Republic of Mesk is a massive confederation on the Isola of Muindi, the world's largest state by territory. It's a petro state. Why not, Harife? It's not like I have anything better to do in this hellhole. Co przewozisz? Diamonds. Diamenty, serio? Of course not. But wouldn't it be marvelous if I was? No dobrze, ale co naprawdę przewozisz? Whatever stupid things they put in the lorry, I imagine. Czyli nie wiesz, co przewozisz w własnej ciężarówce. I quit concerning myself with that a long time ago. Besides, I don't drive the lorry for the cargo. If you know what I mean. A jeśli od jest kontrabandą? Then it's contraband, Loman. What? Do you want to take an old woman in? Be my guest. Lock me away like bad hand Hermenegildo. Bad hand. Hermenegildos's bad hand strangled 300 people. What can I say? Some people just really like strangling people. Wiesz, mi na kobietę, która co nie jest o narkotykach. What do I need drugs for, Loman? What I see, what I feel, the great adversary, no drugs can compare. Gdzie mógłbym czegoś podobnego doświadczyć? If you don't know, <laughs> maybe if she thought you're corrupt. Chciałem spytać, czy byłabyś zainteresowana przemycaniem narkotyków? Why would I want to do that? Uh... 
dla chwały Republiki Świata, wyzwolenia ducha i ciała. Czy w też narkotyki przez terminal B? Weź wcześniej, że nie wiesz, jaki ten ładunek przywozisz. Mogą to być narkotyki? Narkotyki? No, Loman Diamonds. <laughs> Gdybyś miała zgadywać, kto, kto, to kto twoim zdaniem przemysł narkotyki? Easy. He's the skinny man who thinks he's a poet. Never trust a poet. Also, he's the only one I can see from here. That's correct. There is no visibility of any of the others. No dobra, skoro nie jesteś związana z przemian narkotyków, to dlaczego wciąż tu czekasz? Where do you want me to go? This isn't so bad. I can listen to music or the seagulls. Look at all the colors and the features of this world. It's a good palette cleanser, this jamboree. Or I can just relax and let my mind carry me back where it will, to the Great Plains. I think we're done here, no? Yes, go. Dzięki. Super. Uh... Dobra, czy ja mam tu z kim do porozmawiania? No nie wiem, dobrze, ale tym zajmiemy się na następnym odcinku. Serdecznie dziękuję za oglądanie, mam nadzieję, że Wam się spodobało. Do usłyszenia, no i cześć. Dziękuję bardzo za oglądanie mojego materiału, mam nadzieję, że Wam się podobało. Jeżeli Wam się spodobało, pamiętajcie, żeby kliknąć kciuk w górę, zasubskrybować i kliknąć dzwoneczek, wszystko, aby zawsze być na bieżąco. Jeżeli macie coś do napisania, napiszcie komentarz, dzięki temu będę wiedział, że jesteście, że Wam się podoba i przede wszystkim, że chcecie żeby tych materiałów pojawiało się więcej. Dodatkowo, jeżeli chcecie się wdzięczyć za to, co robię i podoba Wam się moja praca, pamiętajcie, że, kliknie, że możecie kliknąć w moją nazwę, wejdziecie do strony głównej mojego kanału, kliknąć opcję wesprzyj i za 2 zł, 10 albo 30 zostanie wspierającymi e, według Waszej tutaj w, w chęci i potrzeby oddania trochę tej dobroci w moją stronę. Dziękuję bardzo za oglądanie, trzymajcie się, do usłyszenia i życzę Wam miłego. Bardzo serdecznie dziękuję wszelkim wspierającym za to, że jesteście. Dziękuję tym, którzy byliście wspierającymi i dziękuję wszystkim tym, którzy po tym właśnie filmiku zdecydowaliście się na wsparcie. Przede wszystkim to nie jest tak, że wspieracie osobę, która ma tysiące widzów. Wspieracie małą społeczność, której dzięki każdej osobie z Was, każdej złotówce, którą mi przelejecie, każdym dwóch złotym, które jesteście wspierającymi ptasiakami, za każdą tą jedną osobę bardzo serdecznie dziękuję i za każdą tą złotówkę dziękuję, ponieważ dzięki temu po prostu mam chęci, mam motywację i przede wszystkim mam dodatkowe finanse, które pozwalają utrzymać, te, utrzymać ten kanał i utrzymać wszystko, co się wokół niego dzieje, włącznie z kosztami prądu, kosztami e, kupowania nowego sprzętu, kupowania nowych gier e, i w ogóle całego czasu, który spędzam, czy to nagrywając, czy to streamując i czy to jeżeli w przypadku wielu, wielu sytuacji rozmawiając i wspierając osoby, które w jakiś sposób czują się gorzej, więc moja działalność jest bardzo szeroka i cieszę się, że doceniacie ją. Jeżeli ktoś z Was czuje się gorzej i chciałby ze mną porozmawiać i ma jakieś takie problemy, możecie do mnie napisać, zagadać wszystko na Discordzie, a link do Discorda w opisie.